So here we are, and we're talking about the pauldron. We've got our first set of temporary hardware in. This is just snap rivets in place. But now we need to figure out where we're going to fixture our next strap. We've got to attach it, anchor it somewhere on the edge of our pauldron. Now, it doesn't matter what type of leather you're using or if you're using just tape stuck together, but generally you're going to put some, you know, it could be very thin, right? This is like upholstery leather, or you can use some heavier stuff if you want to test that out, or you can use more of your vegetable tan scrap. It's all going to work. But what we need to do is figure out how this sleeve, right, which is going to buckle onto our arm here, is going to go crossbody across the breast and around the back to make sure that it stays elevated on your shoulder while you're moving. So it's a lot of guessing because you generally know that your bicep is here and you're trying to get, you know, above the tricep and around all of the musculature of your shoulder. Um, which is sort of up here. So it's okay to just guess and retape, but generally what I'll do is I'll have a long piece and a short piece so that when I put the whole thing together, the long piece will go around the back and you'll have an extra strap that can attach to your buckle in front where you can see. And this is going to allow you to put your armor on and see what you're doing instead of reaching behind your back or having a squire help you do so um, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that since this is going on my left arm, I'm going to have the long piece right here. And you can use your, your one inch tape. I'm going to use the, the two inch tape just because I have it. If you decide that when you're putting the strap on and it's misbehaving and moving around, just double up on your tape if you only have the one inch stuff. Give it a little more um, body, something to hold on to. And we're just going to put a big fat blob of tape right there, like so. And then I folded it over the back so that it's got some, some good adherence. This is not structural. It's just to make sure that as we put the straps in, where they land on our pauldron is appropriate because one rivet will be more than enough to hold it in. Okay. But for temporary, the blue tape does a good job. Yellow tape does a fine job. Duct tape, wonderful, but it's kind of hard to clean off your leather. So um, we like the stuff that's not um, not removable. So the stuff that is removable, right? We like it to be able to come off without a lot of scrubbing. Okay, so we have our first short strap in the front and our long strap in the back, and we sleeve this onto our shoulder. And then this is gonna take some practice if you haven't done it before. You have to reach behind your back, right? Find that strap, bring it forward, and then you're going to make sure that as the strap comes around your body, sometimes it gets twisted, make sure it's still flat, that you would imagine buckling it right around here. And then again, you're gonna check and say, do I like that motion? Does that feel right? You can put a little extra tension on like it's tight and ask yourself, is that restricting anything that you're doing? But once you've got it in place and you're happy with the motion you have, you don't feel anything grinding against your shoulder blades, there's nothing stabbing you in the collarbone, and there's nothing grinding on the actual muscles of your arm, then you say, okay, I'm really comfortable with my rivet going here and wherever I've got it on the back. But you want to do this temporary setup to make sure that when you're starting your design, whether the belt is coming across the breast or some other fashion maybe lower, it's still comfortable for you when you're using it. Okay, so we've got our locations. Very exciting. Now, the tricky part here is we want to keep that information in place, right? So we know that our belt lives here. Like so. And so we can lift our piece. We still have our punch set from the last time. And so I'm just finding that location where the belt was. So it touches down right here. And I'm making sure that my leather punch is landing in the center of that footprint, like so. One good squeeze and a wiggle to make sure that hole goes through. So you can 
can see light transmission through the hole. Uh, and here's the black. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, just peeling this back, knowing full well right there is where we want the hole to go for our pauldron straps. Okay. So again, if you have scrap leather, this is a good time to sort of test it all out as an assembly, see how it works. Um, but at this point, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to take this whole spacing and try to translate it around the rest of the pattern so I can put in all my other rivets, have decorative rivets, and then just have my pauldron anchor it here so it's ready to go. Okay. So at, at no point do I have to worry about anything else except popping these off and asking myself aesthetically, is this rivet spacing that we have here to here, does that look nice? And do I want to repeat that all the way around the pattern? And then the important thing is to rivet everywhere but where your two anchoring holes are. Um, so I'm going to do some measurement for that and we'll get some more holes punched and we'll uh, see what the final product looks like.